Good day, mate. 40 here. Little Roger State Park, Pacific Palisades. Looking out at Santa Monica, Malibu. Going on a walkabout and listening to Leviathan by Thomas Hobbes. And uh, we're on chapter 18. He says, No man, that's downtown Los Angeles, Century City, then downtown in the background. And Hobbes says, No man can make a covenant with God. Right? All we can do is make a covenant with a representative of God. So I grew up a Protestant, and Protestants have a, have a lot of rhetoric about your individual work with Jesus. But in the final analysis, you know, Protestantism has you know, a great deal of bureaucracy and community and rules written and unwritten. And in the final analysis, and if you're going to be a practicing Protestant, probably need to have a covenant with God and with a representative of God. Right? It's not, not just good enough to have a covenant with God because we're infinitely capable of fooling ourselves. We're infinitely capable of justifying anything. So trying to fool your community, trying to persuade your community to accompany you, on your innovative insights, that's a lot more difficult. So very easy just to have that personal covenant with God. But in practice, that soon means nothing for the overwhelming majority of people. Right? The only covenant with God is going to mean anything. For 99.9% .9 of people, there's a covenant with representatives of God. Not just clergy, but a particular community or a particular tribe. right? whatever your ideals, okay, you're going to make a covenant with honesty, or a covenant with courage, covenant with health, covenant with certain nationalism, right? It's only going to have meaning and be effective and accomplish something if it's a covenant with specific people. Right? Just, just uh, forming these covenants in your heart isn't usually going to have lasting value. And then the other thing that I enjoyed early on here in Leviathan is where Thomas Hobbes says, man is most dangerous when he is most at ease. Why is a man at ease so dangerous? And the man at ease is so dangerous because that's when he is most likely to want to share his wisdom, particularly with the sovereign. Okay, a man who shares his wisdom with the sovereign or a man who just shares his wisdom, period, right? He's uh, very likely to get into, get into some trouble to be a bit of bother when you've got all these live streamers sharing their wisdom, right? That's where man's at his most dangerous, when he's most at ease, when he has the least fear, <laughs> when he is the most disconnected from need, anxiety, or some you know, pressing obligation, right? So you, you wouldn't think of the married man, the man with kids, as being at ease, right? He's got too many obligations. It's the bachelor, right? People like me have you know, very few obligations. Right? Always eager to dispense our wisdom because we have so few obligations bearing down on us.